Alright, so I had a problem with my prototype, and that is that it was difficult to build the base. Oh, it was easy to click on the new room and create it and scale it and rotate it and place it, but it was difficult in your head to actually picture how everything was fitting together. Uh, and that was sort of on purpose, but it made the game unplayable, so I have split the game into two pieces. One piece is where you live in your base for a duty cycle, so three months, six months, a year, whatever the cycle is, and then you come home and you design the add-on or the next star base for the crew that goes up after that. So you've got these cycling crews. And that, le that gives me a lot more freedom in the in the, in the, when designing a module. So I no longer have to do those canned modules. Instead I can allow the user to create a, a module of their choosing in whatever shape they would like. And uh, allow them to build it to look however they would like and to have whatever features they would like and to put whatever doors, although I haven't gotten that far yet, on the edges and place, uh, you know, beds or computers or whatever in using lateral or, or symmetric symmetry. Um, and it's something that I built really, really fast. It's actually taken me much longer to get this video up and running because I had sound problems. It's almost, uh, it took me maybe an hour to do this and people tend to think that building mesh is as difficult. It's not. It's really very easy. And this is a complete mesh. It looks wireframe because I want it to look wireframe because I want you to be able to see to the inside for when you place things on the inside. But if I pause it and go into scene view, you can clearly see that this is a full featured mesh. Now what I did is I built this mesh out of pieces, blender slices that I made. So this is a slice that I created in Blender and this is just the same slice over and over and over with the various points scaled. And then you can combine all the pieces when you're ready to cement the final product uh, and you get one, one final mesh out of the deal and it works fine. So this is really easy uh, to do uh, in terms of how you would as a user use it. So you know if I wanted to create a straight hab module I could do that. Uh, I might have something where you can hold down control or shift or whatever. If you wanted to create something that looked like an inflatable circle, you can do that. Uh, if you wanted something that pinched in the middle, whatever your design sense is, you can just do it and then you can place whatever objects you need to place inside. inside. It's going to take me a little while to put this back into the game in terms of piping these modules into the, uh, uh, into the actual uh, uh, wandering around in 3D framework, but I figured I would show you how easy it is to whip up this kind of mesh uh, control system. It doesn't take weeks, it doesn't take months, it just takes a couple hours, uh, an hour, an hour and a half. Alright, that's it, thanks.